the optional syntax is great, but it doesn't provide a default value. And that's what we're really trying to prevent here is getting an undefined in the first place. We want to get a value that makes sense and do it at the place we're dealing with the code. So you don't have to hunt later and then remember why you might have gotten undefined, what you could potentially put. You need to think about it while you're writing the code sometimes. So in this case, we're going to use a get or function from Lodash. And what it means is it's going to try to do the exact same thing as the optional chaining syntax. But it forces you to provide a value and say, look, if there's nothing there for first name, just put unknown name, right? We know that it's an unknown name. We have no idea or the first name couldn't be found or whatever. Something that makes sense to you in that particular case. In our case, we have first name. So when we run this example, we're going to see that we get Jesse. If we misspell the access for whatever reason, or we spell it correctly, but the property just doesn't exist. It's physically not there. This won't throw a no pointer. Instead, it'll give us the default value and say, look, we just don't know a name. If you're going to display it on the screen, it just hints at a data out error or perhaps maybe a code error. You misspelled things. Who knows? But at least you can guarantee that downstream is always going to get a string or whatever data type you need. So that's how you use get or from Lodash to provide a default value, not just a safe way of getting things. It does both.